Howdy everyone. Um, so I've got a bit of an update on my little Haculus Rift, Oculus Thrift, whatever you want to call it, using uh, Trinus Gyre and uh, Vireo Perception in conjunction with Half-Life 2. My last test was um, over Wi-Fi and um, there was a fair bit of latency, but uh, this time I'm using a USB 3 cable with my Galaxy S5 and it seems to um, seems to work fairly well however the head tracking is still a bit slow um, anyway this is my little setup here um, so I've got <coughs> I've got a color cross uh, case and it's um, it's got the little Google button there um, I've made some modifications to the foam as uh, it really was not sitting on my face until um, yeah until I modified it a fair bit um, yeah the display itself is is the lenses itself are, are fine um, I would still like to experiment with them a little bit more however for the purpose of this video we're just going to look at the latency whoops it stopped oh god what have I done alright well anyway I'll quickly use this as an opportunity to go through what uh, how I actually go about with the settings so um, alright so Trinus Jaya okay so it stops right so um, as you can see it's set to USB tether and sometimes this IP will not update until you actually are in tethering mode on your phone um, and you've got it uh, enabled. Normally it will start router Wi-Fi but then when you click on USB tether it tends to bring up the IP. I can never remember this number. I don't know why I don't write it down. 192.168.0.2 is my um, actual IP for this PC here but um, yeah, it likes to pick a bit of a strange number for USB tethering. So, I've more or less left the rest of the settings untouched. I have tried playing around with uh, full screen mode, especially since not all games uh, like to run in a window. However, that, as indicated, is buggy. And I've not had much luck. Uh, for better frame rates, I would like to try and muck around with that a bit more. It seems to make a bit of a difference, but honestly, the quality of the video at the moment isn't as great as I'd like it to be. Um, I tend to invert that because I have my mouse inverted in game, and if you have the sensor type set to mouse, and then you go to put your head, uh, turn your head up, it will convert it downwards because it's already reversed in game. Anyway, so that takes care of that little problem. Um, just so we get a bit more of a feel of just how quickly it is moving, I'll turn those up. So we'll start the server. Um, can't quite see the numbers here, can we? Because I've turned up the bloody um, uh, night vision on this phone. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, it's not a big deal. Um, so we'll start it there. Wait till the lens adjusts and then start it there. Alright, good day. Now, because we've already got the game running, hopefully this does not cause an issue. And hit OK. Alright, sweet, we're back in business. So, yes, Half Life 2, if anyone remembers this, um, these. Hang on a second, this is. I uh, wish I had three hands. So this was a good little spot, not too far from the starting location, where I could um, test out the uh, the settings. Now this little this little setup here, with God, focus, focus. It's not focusing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this little bit's good because it gives you some depth perspective to play around with some of the settings with Vireo Perception. Um, I suggest you read the README file 
with Vario Perception because um, <clears throat> I did have to actually swap the eyes. I couldn't for the life of me figure out why it was screwing with my head and you know closing one eye and then closing the other and trying to um, figure out why it wasn't um, working. I ended up having to swap the eyes and play around with the convergence. I think the keys are F2 and 3 and uh, F4 and F5 are the ones you'll muck around with to change the depth. Anyway, no, that's convergence. Anyway, read the readme file, um, but you may have to swap the eyes because I did too. So, <clears throat> the main purpose of this video obviously is to show latency. Now, uh, it is a little bit jerky at the moment and for some reason my CPU is um, is really running whoop, battery's going to get low. The CPU is really uh, churning. Um, about half of it is taken up by Trinus Gyre. Hopefully with some optimizations, um, Loxi can um, yeah, have a bit of luck with uh, op optimizing um, getting it to run a bit quicker. Anyway, so just to give you an idea as you can see, the frame rate's not brilliant. Um, it seems to be more or less okay on the TV, but yeah, I don't know if the phone's going to capture it well. Oh, piss off, little cameras, where are they? They look really cool when they fly up to you, actually. <laughs> the depth perception looks good. Oh, there's a couple of them now there, just continuously smashing me. So, yeah, the latency has dropped by perhaps half. And it's not as bad as it was. There is still some latency, which you could probably see is a bit of a wobble between both of these screens here. Um, yeah, and also I've noticed, I don't know if it's a problem with Vireo Perception, but uh, the right eye updates a little bit later than the left eye. So that's not such a good thing. Um, however, I think. What I'll probably end up using this setup for mostly is not for the sensor tracking or for turning my head and, you know, potentially um, causing my vomit centers to <laughs> to switch <laughs> and uh, get nauseous, as uh, is often a problem with these things, but um, rather to still use the mouse to look around and play normally, but to just have that depth perception. Um, not sure if first person shooters are going to be the best for it or if it's uh, going to be a case of maybe playing other games like um, Starcraft or even Kerbal Space Program or something like that, you know. Uh, not necessarily first person should um, still, you know, look kind of interesting. Reading text is going to be a problem though and a lot of those games that aren't first person shooters tend to have more text and more things to uh, read in the UI elements. Anyway, I'll keep playing around with it and um, I'm relatively pleased with the results so far. I think it's, it's if anything, good proof of concept. Um, the software by Loxi, Trinus Gyrus, is still in beta um, and I still haven't really mucked around with uh, Limelight, I think is the name of it, which is another screen mirroring program. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, subscribe um, if, you, if you dare. Um, yeah, add a comment and uh, let us know your thoughts and experiences with uh, similar things. Ciao.